most big engine motorcycles and all cars are four strokes. This is a section through one cylinder of a typical four stroke, simplified and slowed right down so you can see what's happening. The four strokes, movements up or down of the piston, are induction, when the gasoline air mixture is drawn in, compression, as the piston moves up, compressing the fuel air mix, power, the spark plug ignites the mixture, which explodes, forcing the piston down again, lastly, exhaust, as the piston goes up again and pushes the spent gases out. Therefore, one stroke in four produces power. By contrast, a two-stroke, seen here in simplified form, produces power every time the piston comes up. As the piston moves up, it uncovers the inlet port and the natural vacuum draws the mixture in. The rising piston compresses the mixture, ready for ignition. The explosion drives the piston down, giving power and forcing the new mixture round towards the transfer port. The burnt gases can now escape through the open exhaust port. The piston will rise again to compress the mixture and begin the cycle once more. Power on every other stroke. Unlike cars or four-stroke engines, two-strokes need oil mixed in with the gasoline for lubrication. In a road engine, about 30% of the mixture is oil. In a racing engine, only about 5% is oil. And under racing conditions, a typical 500cc bike will do about 20 miles per gallon. Racing two-strokes are water-cooled. It's the only way to keep an even temperature in the engine, where the exhaust gas may reach 1,300 degrees. The exhaust system is a critical part of the two-stroke engine design. On the three-cylinder Honda, the pipes were in the usual position, swept up below the fuel tank. On the later four-cylinder, to improve the weight distribution, the fuel tank was put under and around the engine. You can imagine the insulation problems. This is the only time this tank position has been successful for many years, but it meant rerouting the exhaust pipes up where the fuel tank usually is, over the engine, and under the seat at the back. The design and construction of the exhaust pipes is an art in itself, because their exact length and shape controls the speed at which the burnt gas leaves the engine. Slow it down, and you lose power. 